So, uh... Shit. This has to be really, really centered, and I don't have the tools to do that by a long shot. Uh, I could try to eyeball this, but I doubt that's going to be adequate. So, I was thinking my best bet is to wrap it with electrical tape until I have the same diameter as this, and uh, then I'll be much more confident in whether it's centered or not. This diameter is centered pretty darn well, but uh, this direction is not perfect because I, I couldn't get these edges perfect. I didn't really have a tool to get these perfect, as ridiculous as that probably sounds. But if you think about it, I mean, it's kind of a tall order. Best I could think of was to just use my sander, my sanding unit, and then just kind of do this. But it's still not perfectly flat. I'm using these uh, computer fan screws because they're very flush and they seem to fit pretty well. This is clearly going to be a problem. You can see how much that's wiggling around. It's funny because I have these diameters match so well in alignment and, and yet the bottoms just aren't very flat. So it's having a dramatic effect. It occurred to me that if I back off the screws on both sides and I just break the glue that held the diameter positioning in place, then uh, that will just let it do what it needs to do to keep the alignment just right. Well, it's probably a stupid idea, but I think I'm going to try balancing this by actually lathing it. Well, I've spent the last hour trying to balance this uh, without much luck. No matter what I do, it still wobbles quite a bit. I, uh, I tried a number of different things. I tried lathing it with uh, tools. I tried sanding it. I tried using a uh, Dremel while spinning it, which uh, the sanding bit flew off somewhere. I can't find it. And uh, I tried using this, uh, which amplifies any deviations to try to find out any issues and then using a rasp to file those down. I tried drilling out areas that seemed a bit heavy but the uh, problem is that, well, see, you see how that just wobbled there? It's because it's getting stuck down to a point where, where the coils and the magnets are aligned, it gets stuck. So there's no way to really balance it. I tried a number of things. I tried bringing it to top speed and then letting it back down, but I couldn't get a consistent result. So I tried drilling some areas that had knots, things that I thought might have a higher density. I tried a lot of stuff and uh, <laughs> I got nowhere, just nowhere. I think I may just have to live with this being a little bit off. And at the time I had thought, oh, I'll use wood, that'll be kind of novel. But I guess there's a good reason not to use wood to make a centrifuge, and that's because uh, it's far more inconsistent than I had imagined. Like, the smallest bit uh, being off is enough to cause this thing to vibrate like mad. There's just not anything you can really do about it, you know, because wood is naturally going to just be inconsistent. Well, I have this basic frame done, and there's plenty of space so I can use lots of different things in the centrifuge. I have a couple more things left to do. I'm going to have to put in some slots or something to actually put my media jars in. I have a whole bunch of these that are from some lamps. They're like uh, covers for shades. Frack! I walked away for a second, this thing was just sitting here, perfectly fine, and then I come back and it had rolled off, and of course it cracked right here, after I had oh so carefully glued everything in and gotten it just aligned right. Now it has a fucking crack, and uh, I know the integrity is going to be far too low, even if I try to repair it. I suppose if I ran a band around it I might be able to, but I, I might as well just start over. I just got this together. I ended up uh, putting a, an inner lampshade that uh, had come with this. So there's a clear one on the outside, I think it's ABS, and then there's a, what feels like a, an HDPE uh, layer on the inside. Both of them are probably rated for relatively high temperature. I also stuck a dowel to help stabilize it through here. So this is a dry run without anything uh, inside of these containers, just to see how well balanced it is.
This worked pretty well. So here you can see how this actually goes together. It's basically just a positive and a negative. So right here are my uh, holes for these containers. So they slot in like this. And then this one fits around it on the inside. And between the two of them, it completely encapsulates it to help keep it from flying off. The other reason for it is I, I feel like it's going to help make this a little bit stronger. Overall, I'm surprised at how well balanced this seems to be. Uh, because I haven't done anything asymmetrical to balance it. So my guess is the reason it seems more stable is simply because it uh, has less uh, speed because it has more load. So I have here 60 milliliters of uh, an extract that is mostly very fine suspended particles, but there's some larger ones that get stuck in there as I extract, unfortunately. I have two of these at the same amount, so 60 milliliters each. Should be pretty well balanced. Time to give this thing a run with some real load. So that's a total of four ounces, which is probably going to stress this plastic quite a bit. So we'll see what happens. Shit. That's interesting, it, uh... oh wait, there it is. Yeah, it broke the plastic. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. Apparently this just isn't strong enough. You can see it got uh, a little bit everywhere. Yeah. I guess the next step is going to be switching this out for something that's strong enough to actually contain it. It's probably for the best. This system was kind of a pain in the ass. I picked up a couple of bowls to uh, potentially handle this situation. I wasn't sure which would make more sense. I'm kind of thinking this one. So, what I guess I'm going to do is take some acrylic and heat form it over this. And uh, hopefully that will work out okay with just a heat gun.